so the next part is a aerated lagoon so aerated lagoon and oxidation pond is the somewhat same but the difference is only the electric motor is placed at the bottom of the wastewater and it to produce the um, continuous uh, air circulation to the wastewater so this is a picture image an electric motor is fitted at the bottom of the oxygen, bottom of the aerated lagoon so first we can see principle then aeration method then advantages and disadvantages of the aerated lagoons so first principle so it is a modified modi or it is a modification over the oxidation pond with the provision of the mechanical aeration instead inserted of depending on the surface aeration or oxidation by algae it is between the actuated sludge process and oxidation pond so this is a picture image of this is a principle of the aerated lagoon so this is a picture image of the aerated lagoon so this is the three types of the aerated lagoon in that uh, lagoon the electric motor is fitted at the bottom of the uh, aerated lagoon for the purpose of the electric motor fitted so me, means the main object of the electric motor to produce the uh, aeration to the wastewater so you can see the motor you can see the this is the aeration system for aerated lagoon so following are the advantages of aerated lagoon can operate under overloading of industrial waste also suitable for cold condition gives maximum rate of oxidation or bod removal than oxidation pond less retention time as compared to oxidation pond as aeration is a mechanical less surface area and large depth are possible no serious order problem so on, there are disadvantages required energy of mechanical aeration then next method is a pyrothermidation so this is a picture image of the pyrothermidation so this is another picture image so advantages useful for the site where there is a contamination of the low level suitable to treat wide variety of contaminants then alternative method for mechanical filtration of sewage then it is eco friendly simple to handle then next is a root zone cleaning so root zone cleaning you can use the specific types of the trees uh, and uh, for the specific type of the trees are um, uh, means the specific type of the trees are used to decompose the waste water so this is a picture image of the root zone cleaning so this is picture image another exam clearly clearly image of the picture image so in this image you can see the settling tank then inlet gravel then a root zone then sand layer is provided at the bottom then reeds the reeds is a uh, types of the plant then outlet gravel then implant layer uh, regulator and outlet pipe this is another image clean water is out by using the root zone technology dirty water is in and uh, for to provide the specific detention time to uh, to decompose the waste water and detention time is completed the clean water is out so following are the advantages of the root zone cleaning no power requirement low maintenance eco friendly then help remove about 90% of bod and 63% of nitrogen no danger mosquito breeding clean technology can be used to remove heavy metal from the waste water so next is a rotating biological contractor 
So this is a, a, a picture image of the R, RBC. This is a short form of the RBC. So for, this is the front view and this is the side view. In this method, you can see the uh, different unit. Then, for example, chain driver gear, then uh, spro rocket, then disk, then hub, then partition. So this is the actual image of the RBC. So video. You can see. So in this video, you can see the what is the working of the RBC. This is the advanced method of the wave water decomposition. So dirty water is dirty water outlet. Okay, the next part is continuing.